53 43 I think the score was so not 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 though. the uh, I think the the biggest divide in the score for sure but mm. I know you mentioned that um, blood covenant with those two teams definitely did favor crazy clowns because it's a map that historically Only narrowly I, I I'm still I'm still impressed at them taking the map to be honest um, but uh, yeah it's good for them going into the rest of the series because I think now they can you know, if the second map is much more favoured into Toxins Run, which is going to be Ruins, then uh, at least sticking Tiebreaker will probably be a bit more comfortable for them. Yeah, so you've just mentioned it yourself, right? So the next map is going to be Ruins of Sarnath. This would be a, a selection between Zron and Tox. Um, another exciting map, I think, because uh, the movement coming out of all of these guys is really impressive. And I always find Ruins to be quite a movement-heavy map, because you've got a lot of open space, you've got move to build up the speed. Um, I know we're not likely to see it, but obviously Tox was well known for his slash. He would pick slash very often in duels um, on this this map. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of excited to see how this one goes. It's one of the slower paced games as well, because even though there is open space, there is a lot more, I, I don't know, curvature in the map in terms of uh, some of the angles that are available. So you really do have to chase around from the heavy, going up uh, bounce pads and around corners to get to the mega health. The routes definitely aren't direct whatsoever. Probably in a similar kind of pace to Blood Covenant as well. Um, but I'm very keen to see what champions these guys are going to be picking. I'm suspecting that we're going to be getting Zron playing the Galena and Sinuset playing the Galena. Uh, I'm wondering what we're going to get out from the others. Again, I think a visor will likely be picked, and if they do do different champion lineups per team, it would be another surprise. But maybe there are some tricks hidden in each his sleeves. Galena has always been very popular on Runes of Sana. Mm -hmm. You know, I know back when we were first seeing duels start to take place in the World Championship days, Galena, if she was going to get picked, Ruins was quite popular. I know even back in the day, like Cypher was picking Galena on this map, um, and he was one of the only people. Just trying to force Galena into the meta from the beginning. <laughs> one, of one way or another. One way or another. But it's. Been because, you know, for, for those that are watching right now that may not have known, particularly why Galena gets picked, very, very heavily focused on, you know, like teleporters and things like that. Ruins, if you want to move around quickly, you got to use those teleporters, and she can shut that down easily with the totem. Absolutely, but we are in game here into map two on Ruins of Sarnath. I'm checking out Silence at the time being, who indeed is on Galena. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. Uh, it is going to be a Galena Visor uh, partnership on both teams. Claws of the Visor, Tox of the Visor, of course, it's on Silence at with the Galena. Uh, early days seems to be pretty tight for the time being, but maybe the Crazy Clowns can actually further that. Nope, Zrona is going to make it 3-3, three to three, and I'll, uh, I'll have a little um, uh, view of the other players on the server. I like the, the idea they're sticking together. This can be a two versus one, so yeah, it should be a very easy frag. But Zron, weak himself. This could be Ooh. a cleanup and claws. I like the awareness, right? Leave the weaker guy last and just get that shot that you know you're going to make. You know, this is claws. His aim's pretty fantastic. Uh, exactly. And I think uh, something we we're talking about even before the show started is expecting what kind of like 1v2 situations are we going to be getting? That was more of a full exchange, but when claws has got a stack, if, you know, if you're trying to 2v1 him, do not be surprised if you both die. Oh, and there we go. When you get that trap with the LG, I know you'd mentioned this before, actually, earlier in the week, that if, you, if you're going to be picking Visor, it's not always going to be... Oh, that was a fantastic rail. It's not just about the big damage weapons. If you can trap someone with the LG around the corner because you're Visor, you can almost deliver a death sentence better than any other weapon you have selected. Oh, completely. Let's uh, check out uh, Claws still as we go towards the power-up. That's going to be Zron dying 10 seconds before it. He should be able to get a, uh, a clean spawn and rush still over there. He's coming over from Nail Gun. Tox is over by Tribolt. Will die. And Claws just about gets himself onto the quad. That was a very good amount of lightning gun damage from Zron. And that was a really well-placed rocket as well. On that, that one piece of terrain that I think that was the only time he was going to get the rocket to collide to do damage. And he was able to get it on Zron more than comfortably. Toxic going in with a pummel. Oh. I think they would have coordinated the damage that he had left. I think he had very little because he was fresh off the spawn, not much weaponry to challenge. Let's see if Claws can uh, get a couple more kills as we've got a few seconds left of this quad run. It was a nice start for him, trying to find a rail angle, but that is going to be quad out just as he lands the rail. Uh, he's going to find the other two. Sidestep goes down. What kind of extra damage can Claws do? Claws will be taking a lot of careful accuracy here, I think, but... Oh, wow. Uh oh, this yep. is hurting. he's missing a couple of those rails. Caught him in the middle of the jump, though, so maybe. Ooh. Nah, not quite. Zron knows a thing or two about LG for sure. So I'm going to have a quick look at the early scores over there. Claws is 11 my for three word. right now. Oh my god. Silence not doing so well, but he's, you know what? If Claws is doing great, then I'm doing great. 
No I, complaints. You're going to have that benefit, I think, if you're picking Galena. I know, obviously, to support in this game mode still requires really good Oof. combat skills regardless because it's Quake at the end of the day. But if your buddy's going to be Claws, who is one of the world's best fraggers, then, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world for sure. Since he is doing so well. Nice. Actually, you know what? I was going to stick on to Claws, but I think I might check out Tox because we all love seeing a little bit of Tox, right? I mean, he's the king of the YouTube compilations. Come on now. <laughs> we, need to, we need to catch up with some of this. Let's see what he's able to do with uh, Visor himself. Again, okay, good damage onto Claws. Ron does take down Science Hub. He's going to take down Claws. Also, lots of free damage done by Tox. Does miss out on a rail. Science Hub's got a chance to come back in this fight. Claws comes round two. Yeah, nice 2v1. I think these deaths are going to be quite costly, especially now the power-up's about to spawn. Obviously, we have five seconds until we're going to see that protection, but they're trading it back and forth. Mega and protection Silence Hub. I mean, that's best-case scenario. Oh, so oh no! He, he just steps off the Mega in time, but Claus is there for the refrag. We have got Zron over here with the protection now, and he has got plenty of health. He's got the Mega now. And that is just such a nuisance for Silence App. It looked like he had complete control over both of them, and then because it took him like, you know, maybe one second too early, lost control of both of them, and now it's going to be Ice Climbers that hold full control of the power up. And he's got a totem as well. We can't ignore the fact that, yeah, he's technically low on life, but he's Galena. He's got a totem. He doesn't care. There you go. Bam, straight back. Yeah, plenty of life, destroying some of Silence Ep's totems. Uh, the protection is now gone, but he's going to look for a little extra damage. Should get the kill on Silence Ep, but now very weak. And the score has just totally tumbled, gone in favor of Toxins Ron. They've been having loads of great 2v nothings in terms of frag exchanges, 2v1s. Oh, that's it's double rail. It's just getting rail. better and better for them. Fantastic double rail from Ron and Tox right there. But I think it goes to show as well how important it is when, when you control those power-ups, how quickly those frags can start to add up as well. Because yeah. they were fairly behind, especially when the quad went through earlier on. But the second they got full control over that, that one little misplay from Silent Step, you know, mistiming both of them mm -hmm. um, by just a fraction of a second, really, Ooh. it's allowed Ice Climbers to comfortably take that snowball effect of frags that you can get from a power-up. Yeah, and I think you saw for a few moments there that Silent Step and Claws are trying to, all right, we need to slow things down again. We need to work together a little bit because otherwise that snowball is going to continue you and we're not going to be able to stop them in this game now that they're trying to stabilize a little bit let's see what they do going up to quad number two uh, but uh Zeronotox are going to surely still pile on that pressure with the aim claws has to be really careful he's going to be more than aware of the stack he's working with i actually love the dodging but the second he was airborne i think that was a free shot for zron there was no way he was missing that one yeah and sadly claws was missing quite a few of his rails just then which is quite rare for him zron Taking down Claws, uh, Silence Up over there should be relatively weak, but he lands an awesome shot. They're getting some impressive rails, but I think it's going to be super important this time right now, seeing as the quad's just about to spawn. Even if Claws gets the quad, he's so weak. Tox takes him out, Silent Step tries as well, misses the rail on Zron, but it's not going to be returned either way. <laughs> Zron, at the last minute, changing to machine gun. I mean, like, he almost... <laughs> oh, no! And it was just as he picked up the quad as well, and all of a sudden, bang, 400 damage totem there. I don't you remember them done. doing that much damage. Uh, <laughs> Claws going down also. There's the totem to heal himself up a little bit. Has got a light armor as well. Let's see. Uh -oh. if uh, Ice Climbers can extend this lead a little more as they look to be first to hit the 30 mark. Yeah, Zron's going to be on, definitely just going to be on the warpath there. And he just needs to get those health bubbles. I, I like this idea that he's not being, I think, eager to just use the totems at all times. If he can get a health bubble, I mean, it aids towards her cooldown as well, right? Because mm. of that passive. I think she benefits quite nicely in these 2v2 modes because you're going to be picking up loads of health. You're going to be using loads of totems, especially when you get the Mega as well, of which Zron was able to just get that comfortably. This is a nice lead, too. Very yeah. impressive. It, it is comfortable. But again, they don't want to stop there. They can't rest on their laurels. They've got to make sure that they keep extending this. Zron sees himself over there, and I, I'm in a 1v2 at the moment. I need to get the hell out of here. I don't want to be throwing away frags for nothing. I'm going to skip between Tox and Zron a little bit. They're both incredibly oh. weak. There's a totem kill. Zron down as well. And this is the type of work that Claws and Silence need to be doing. Oh, wow. What the hell? That Double was, gauntlet. That was <laughs> well played by Tox. Getting the ambush with a gauntlet just to get as much damage as he could fresh off the spawn but it's not just being content with the, it's not about getting the gauntlet frag right it's about doing damage as quickly as possible yeah. and if he's far enough away from the machine gun that that's it that's all he needs i love that awareness and it's boldness too you know not everyone would make that kind of decision but there has been two 2v nothings now so far from Science Up and Claws. They are getting a lot of kills. There's only five frags of difference. Tox has just suicided as well. I think that was while he was fighting Claws. Claws has just taken down Zron. There's been six frags in a row for uh, Crazy Clowns. I've got, got to get used to saying that a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, here we come with protection in a few moments. I'm watching Silent Step. He is going to be able to take down Tox. There is Ron next to it. He's got a totem down, but it's going to die regardless. The frags keep coming in the way of the crazy clowns. And now Claws with that self-proclaimed best LG in the world. But I mean, you can see just how much damage he's able to outdo. A soft reclaimed bird at the same time is actually just a bit <laughs> <Yeah>. in the world. <laughs> I love that confidence though, right? Because if he's really good with a certain weapon type and he's actually, can he win this Ooh. 1v1? This is so yep. close. Claws, I mean, he, he was obviously racing for the heavy just then, does get the kill, but is left fairly weak. Fortunately, his buddy Silent Step is there. He's got him with the heals. And he's feeling good. Another 2v1. He's going to have to watch out. I wonder if Strong's going to come in to try and save the day, but he's actually still pretty far away from there, so he wasn't, I think, in any position to help out Toxic at all. What is going on right now with the Crazy Clowns? It's been something like over 10 oh, frags in a row. Toxic was doing it again! Love the pummel. <laughs> My man loves the gauntlet. And Zorn finally got an actual kill, because otherwise, it's, I swear it's been about two to three minutes where they did not get a single frag. Right now, Tox and Zorn are at risk of getting 2 0 by the crazy clowns. I like, get happier and happier every time I say their name, actually. I, I feel like it's going to get easier throughout the night as well, but it, it goes to show, like, you can never truly, I think, sit on a frag lead against this caliber mm -hmm. of players, because at the end of the day, Ice Climbers were super far behind at the start. They made an amazing comeback. Now, the exact same thing's being done to them. It's like, you know, you can't count these guys out. Yeah. It's quite insane. Oh, my God, at the last minute. Fantastic weapon switch. Tox really, really needed that, but he's so, so weak. He's found Silent Step now. He's got Totems to get rid of. He's calling for his buddy Zron. Zron, where are you? I need your help. I'm Zron coming. Is a I'm coming. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> oh. I was just scared there's going to be a Totem at the bottom there for him. Tox somehow survives. Uh, they don't put any extra pressure on him. It seems like an, uh, not a favorable angle to chase him through those hallways. Tox does kill Claws. Zron is alive still, trying to deliver damage leading to Quad, but that's going to be Silent Set picking up one. Now a two versus one onto Tox. Fantastic it shot. It continues. Oh no, they what? left it alone. Zron got the jump on it. What just happened there? Silent Set was like, no, Claws, I'm ready. You take it. You can be. No, 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 you, Silent Set. <laughs> no, no, be you my guest. Be my guest, mate. Be uh, my guest. <laughs> Wait. And then Zron just comes in, steals it from them, picks up kills, and oh, the comeback no. all of a sudden is so much more real. This is one of those moments where you have to ask, is this going to be the catalyst that causes Ice Climbers to win the map? He misses the rail, so Could Zron, be. super healthy. Now he's got Mega, a tiny bit more quad. Maybe try and just get one more rail, but it's unlikely he's going to get one more frag. Yeah, there it goes. That was a, an interesting exchange. <laughs> that's, that's a cock-up if I've ever seen one. But at that moment, you think you've got more time to make that decision than you actually do. Uh, Tox gets a 1v2 just straight up. Nicely uh, done from him. He's going to continue the, their good work despite having a pretty terrible sort of three minutes in this game. Look at how stacked Ron is as well. If they can stick together and they can pick these fights, Ron is going to be an absolute thorn in their side, especially if they're missing those rails too. Yep. Silent Step and Claws need to get back to landing those shots. All right, there's a fight down at heavy. It's just Claws going versus Ron. Now Silent Step's joined the fight as well. Tox is a little bit late, but can he make this a favorable exchange? Now that the heavy spawned, it's going to be a lot harder. He's going to break away. Ron's jumping down there already. I but think he's confident a super nail gun might have been sufficient so long as Toxic was there. Yeah, he needed Tox there. Tox should be communicating to Ron like, right, we're not able to run this fight. Don't go in. Zorn's got to know when not to be moving into the fights. Now he knows, all right, Tox is over at Nailgun, fighting against Silent Sep. Make sure you're in for the support. Now Zorn wants to get himself a kill, but there's rails from Silent Sep making it kind of dangerous. For sure. I mean, it just kind of goes to show the difference between like landing the shots and not is how much damage in a short space of time you can save yourself. And in this situation now where it's 42 versus 39, every single individual frag that we're going to see, especially now protection's about to spawn, is going to be potentially a game changer. Right, final protection of the game. Totem's going to get destroyed straight away. Sunset's going to replace it with his, uh, with his own. If the crazy clowns get this, and I think this time they're not going to make the same mistake as last time, yeah, we could see a very close game moving into the final power-up. Mega as well. Completely uh -oh. catches the ambush on Zron. Zron's in huge trouble. Yeah, yep. there, there was no no planet in the world where he was going to survive that. Exactly. And now Claws has got heavy. His stack is crazy. Going through this protection, he's going to be invincible. Beyond that protection, he should still be able to get himself a kill or two. There it is. There's Tox. 
LG looking good. Rockets aren't bad from Tox, but there it is. 43 to 42 all of a sudden. I think they did a good job of being able to somewhat outlast um, the power up itself. I think they only gave about three to four frags. So it, it's not, I think, the biggest streak oh. they could have gone with, but it, it's starting to completely extend, right? You do not want a 2 v nothing to be happening in those situations. Claws is also just healing up. He's got himself the heavy. He's got health bubbles. Science up's probably going to have his totem up again soon. And uh, here we go. This is a really important fight. There's Ron and Tox need to be winning. Are they going to be able to get this off the 2 v oh Claws with one rail and Tox has left. He's, he's been slightly concerned. Now uh, Claws. Oh, the trail from Tox. That must have been a piercing sight shot. Let's have a look. No, it wasn't. Oh my God. <laughs> but then again, it was a toxic rail. So the, yeah. the fact that you said that had to be a visor shot. I mean, it's toxic, right? That's the biggest compliment you could have possibly <laughs> given him. But it's definitely close. But Crazy Clown's three frags away from moving on 2-0 versus Ice Climbers. We expected this to be a lot closer. The, the maps themselves rail. are close, but the result maybe not so much. No, this is, this is really, really scary for Zoran and Tox. 20 seconds left. They want to be able to get this quad, and they want to be able to win it. I'm watching Tox right now. Gets himself 80 damage out. Looking for some damage uh -oh. off the claws, but the LG Oh, no, he claws. can't get the shot. He can't get the rail. Two left. Look at how many totems Ron has. Oh. And one of them goes down. Claws oversteps his mark. Zoran has to stay alive. 94 HP is not a huge amount if you're trying to survive. Totem is going to somewhat see to it. Are they going to get quad on this? I don't where's, know. Where's Claws and Tox has just killed one of them? Oh, 48, keeps 48. Fumbling his jump. Come on, come on, Zeron. He's got the Mega beside him. He can afford to take some damage. Now he's uh -oh. got the heavy, the Mega Health. But <laughs> that is dangerous of him to uh, to not pick it up. One more frag. Oh, this, this should is, be uh, free. This should be free for Tox. He's going to chase it. He's got to go in for it. And he finds it. We're going one to one with a tiebreaker map for us to go to. OK, so the second map, Whew. unpredictable, I think is uh, the magic word you could give that mm. one. One. There were some, some moments, there were some, there were some mistakes made. Definitely, definitely mistakes. But there were also some amazing plays. Like that run of the company. It was like what ten frags in the uh, the lead for Ice Climbers. Completely returned as well. Once they started getting that protection, just kept there was going. just one or two suicides that happened, and they made yeah ten, twelve frags without anything coming back their direction. And that was unbelievable. And the fact then that actually Toxus Run managed to be you know conscious of that realign their strategies a little bit and also having to make their own little comeback at the end a really nice adjustments that we're seeing from the players in the game it was also i think some really clutch dodging at the end uh, my, my heart stopped a, a minute by mega right at the end where i think they just needed like one or two more frags mm -hmm. and zron was a nice shot i was when toxic i think had just grabbed the quad yeah and it looked like you know zron made that very brave decision to essentially just hug the wall near mega mm -hmm. and not move but he had the mega right next to him and he's like i'm gonna wait for tox because he's yeah. got quad if if he can survive with the quad, even if I die, he should be able to get the two frags that we need, and I'm going to get the fresh spawn anyway, so I'm going to be harder to kill. It's the understanding of the game mode, right? It's understanding the mechanics of the game, where just because, you know, Mega is in my... It, it, little things where, like, normally if a player was almost dead and they could see Mega, mm -hmm. your first thought is, I need that Mega because yeah. I'm going to help the team with this. But it's that little bit of next level understanding of my teammate needs this more than I do, yeah. even if I'm basically dead here. Yeah. Just little things like that, very impressive. But going into a third map. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I want to linger just a little bit more. I think Feel we free. have got information on it. But because we don't, we don't really have time to talk about the Galena plays as well, but we had a lot of very interesting totem placements. You could see them stacking two totems in certain areas on the maps. Uh, different places around the heavy armor area, not just on the heavy spawn, but at the staircase behind by the bounce pad, up the bounce pad, um, different places. And you could see that they were often getting two totems at a time in these places and being able to have all that extra healing. And it seemed to go back and forth a little bit. But anyway, we've, uh, we've got a map three, I think. We do. And oh, here we go. The new stuff, the, the good stuff, Awoken. Well, I am on silent step once again as we are uh, getting this underway. No crazy uh, fiery start to this one with 15 seconds and we've still no frags, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get any soon. There's a first fight down at the bottom. There's going to be Claws. He's only got the rail, but still manages to get first blood on map three. I love the ragdoll effect of a rail like that. He just got sent into the wall, like movie <laughs> stuff. Oh, sorry there, just missing uh, Silent Step, getting blown up a little bit. We have got the Mega spawning too, which Claws is happily going to take himself. He needs the LG. Claws thrives on the LG. 
There's a little bit of help from the uh, totem. He can't land the final shot. Science have coming in as well, but Zron gets a full 1v2. Very impressive. And I think also came down to that shotgun blast failing to connect, right? These weapons that don't output constant damage. At the end of the day, if you miss those shots, you're just going to be a free target for a significant amount of time. I was listening to Zron also talking recently on the stream. It's like, when people are missing rails, they're failing to support their teammate when they could otherwise have the machine gun out for more reliable support. Yeah, that is it's very a, true. It's risks that you take. If the rail lands, it's great. If it doesn't, all of a sudden, you, you call that a mistake, basically. Yeah, because if you miss every rail, you may as well not be there. Yeah. All you're doing is giving your own position away. Yeah, especially when you're meant to be supporting that teammate. We've got 100 damage rail there. Uh, on to Claws. He's on 14 health to go. Uh, Tox suicides. Claws is going to find him at the end. I'm going to I'm going to switch over to some of the crazy clowns themselves. So I feel up, like claws. suicide is going to be a word that we see regularly on this map because it, the ring out potential is insane. And the people will actually force themselves out the map if they're weak. They're in a one v two, but they pick up the power at first. They're going to just jump off the side. So don't be surprised if we do see a little bit of that happening. And there's some great damage, great focus fire as well from the two players. It means that Claws is going to get power up uh -oh. number one. And he's got an LG and a big stack. And he's, hello, mate. Let's, let's be worried. You. Let's be worried. See that as Ron. See that as Ron. Good luck. Nice <laughs> attempt, kid. Yeah, valiant effort with the pummel, but no, you're not going to have a chance there. Find another oh. LG, almost enough to get the kill. But... I mean, he's going to coordinate at the very least to silence Sep that he's weak to now, right? Like, I've, I've, yeah. just, I've just let him up. He can't fight. He's going to be out of action for a while. He needs to get a kills over here. Zron does go down in the end. There is going to be the quad dying soon, uh, but they are able to take the lead with this quad damage. This Claws has still got quite a nice stack. We've got both of the major items coming up any second. They need a position on one of these. Big damage coming out for Zron. Doesn't return it with the rail. Misses another shot on Tox. Another shot indeed, but that was more of a let's take it just in case. I don't think he himself wants to overextend. Lovely rocket placement. Can he get one more? Tox, big damage and big damage again. The 2v1 for Claws. Excellent uh, that's sequence. That's unreal because actually Tox just picked up the mega health as well. Claws and Sunset didn't get either of the major items, but they got both of the kills. That, that kind of stuff, I think, is the hallmarks of a very, very smart team. You know, it's Claws' placement. He was a lot harder to see. He had a great moment there where it was, you have to, I think, really have to go out of your way to shoot at him mm -hmm. because he was up so high. Oh, well, let's see here. We've got the mega health right now. Got Science up with him. Claws is allowed to take everything. And they're going to find another. Is it going to be another two for nothing? Almost. Tox. Oh, oh he goes God. down. But Zron should be able to pick up uh, a frag in return from this. There he is over there. He does get himself on the rocket. Zron looking for the kill on Science set, but Tox does get it back. So a two for a two for one, still nice. I'm fairly confident that was a like almost two minute life from Claws there. Like Ooh. from power up to that point, I don't really think he died. So I've got more exchanges. It's going, it's going pretty intense at the moment as we're leading up to the second power up. I hope to try and stay alive a little bit while this protection spawns. The control that Crazy Clowns have had over the power-up so far has been immense, and it's just going to be even further now. Silent set with the power-up this time. Yeah, and his stack still looks all right. He's got a good amount of weaponry as well to work with. Uh, could use the railgun too, but he's absolutely at his liberty to use some rocket jumps. Claws does go down. It's about time that Silent Set gets stuck into the fights a little bit. I actually quite like that decision, though, even though he knew he was getting LG'd, to not even try and take that. Oh, oh my oh. days. Fantastic stuff. But the option to actually not get into the fight and control Mega instead, and then fight, you know, just milliseconds afterwards, where he got that impressive frag. And Claus is doing another one versus two. <laughs> Casually. He only gets one of the kills, but he doesn't die, so he does a great job there. LG on LG. There's going to be Claus coming in from Rail to help out, and that is going to be Zron also... Uh, crying for help, but all of a sudden Tox goes down, word. 150 damage rocket, and Silent, Silent Set was just, I mean, he's so underrated in the way he plays. He, it, <laughs> it doesn't even look that impressive compared to other players when he's hitting all these shots, but it's just unbelievable consistency we oh get from him. Oh my god, that one as well. Can he get one more on Zron? Actually, brave knowing that Zron <laughs> is there, but going through the jump pad anyway, I don't care who you are, I'm going to use this jump pad because I want to. He's such a beast, absolute beast. Oh, misses the mid-air. Had to bet everything on that, I think. Yeah. Zron gets himself uh, the heavy armor. He's got a good stack now. They've, they're playing a little bit from behind. Seven frags behind, in fact. Uh, it's time that we see a little bit of a comeback from the Ice Climbers. I think it's going to come. The power-up is going to be quite a big contributor here. But Crazy Clowns, their level of control over these power-ups so far have been very difficult to deal with, very clearly. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I feel like if there's one team that can maybe challenge this, it's going to be these guys. Oh, but oh. they trade it back and forth, one each. Only a five frag difference now. 
Yeah, it's it's getting pretty tight. Tox is not on that strong of a stack. But if I were him, I'd go in and fight and try and die before the power up. But instead, he's going to be able to go for the mega. That is probably a better solution. Flex Silent Seth was actually content with dying there, just in case he could have got Zron to allow Claws to take it. Zron manages to collect the quad, has to make this one count. That was easy brilliant. rocket, easy rocket. Tox allow Tox by pushing in after the mega, getting the kill. Even though Zron died before that, his push into quad secured the spawn as well to support him. So uh, Zron was able to get all that work done at the end. He almost goes down to Silent Seth LG. There's actually a, a huge emphasis on these guys using the regular machine gun, um, I think. I think a lot of that might just come out of yep. respect. They realize how much of a price they're going to have to pay if they fail these shots. And if you fail a shot in rail and give up quad, that is a heavily oh punishing shot to miss. That was a crazy support play then between Silent Seven and Claws. Zron still had some of the quad timer left and he, he went down regardless. Just as the comeback was being made as well, we're on 29, 27. It just it doesn't get much closer than I this. I was just about to say, Zron with like that double whammy totem to both heal himself and deny that teleporter. And before I could even say it, we see it get a frag. That's the strength of Galena on a map like Awoken. You have to move around quickly, and the number one way yeah. to move around is those teleporters, exactly. which he completely shuts down. It's such a, an important part of the map as well, that teleporter. If you can lock that down even for a moment, because if they, if they see the totem, they're going to destroy it. So you've got a very small window where that totem's oh actually going to do something other than heal you. I'm going to switch over to Claws now. Still a bit of time till we get to the power-up, which they're by the spawn point of now. But let's see if they can uh, take down Zron. He gets himself the heavy armor, I think, but it is the crazy clowns that continue oh, for no! the, the telefrag. Oh Ouch. my god, he, he tripped over his shoelaces right there. He tried to put one extra foot forward before he landed the shot, and no damage was done, and he killed himself, <laughs> basically. Oh dear. Oh, the Ooh. totem there, that destroyed Tox. But Zron's going to come around the corner. Sidestep gets himself a, a two for nothing. Uh, he's going to find another. Can he get another clean frag on this? Wow, and his reward is the Mega. That's, uh, uh, that's a nice reward, especially leading up to this power-up now. He's got a totem there, trying to support him as much as possible. But Tox and Zron... Oh, Zron goes oh, down! No, that's... Klaus gets the double! All because, I mean, that rocket was on target too. It's just unfortunate that there was a pillar right in front of him, so the only damage he did was to himself. Poor, poor guy. And uh, you can see that Klaus is like, Silent Step, it's all on you, mate. I got 10 health. You crack on. He's going in with the nail gun. He's not hitting a whole, lot of, a whole load at the moment, but it's better going with this for s trying to get some reliable damage instead of the... Well, never mind. If he goes for the round, hits the two shots anyway. So good shot. I'll very, very good shot. <laughs> uh, the thing is, they had a lead, but it was only a very gradual one. That one sequence off the protection, and then obviously everything else, they've been able to get on top of that. The lead is big once again, and it's starting to get dangerous because it's 39 versus 32. There's not a lot of this map left, Suit. No, there, there really isn't. It almost feels like we'll be done by the 10 minute mark, but we need to see a comeback now from uh, Zron and Tox. I wonder if they're going to slow it down in order to come back, or if they're going to just try and fight fire with more fire. And unfortunately, Toxic goes down for another time. The problem is on a map like this, you can play super defensive on most of these maps, but the level of control they've had over these power-ups, double LG, oh. I mean, who can survive that? They get two kills easily. Yeah, they, the thing is, Ron came in early. Tox wasn't quite there to support him yet, so it was like a very quick 1v2, then another 1v2. And so they go, they both go down, because the firepower of Silence and Claws is just ridiculous. Now, Tox pushes him out the map. It is a two for one in the end, but... Uh, the suicide is going to keep the score very similar, yeah. thankfully. Fortunately, they, they almost need them to be suiciding, so they're like, all right, get further away from that 50 mark. That helps us quite a bit. Yeah, if there's a moment in a map where a ring out is going to be a very important factor, it's going to be right now where Crazy Clowns, if you can get them to lose frags, then, like, happy days. Yeah. Uh oh toxic ambushed. Completely. Trouble. And Zron's nowhere near to help out. He can try and go for a rail, but it's a difficult angle. He should have seen that there's a totem up there too. It's risky for Zron to give his position. And I, I love this thing from Crazy Counts. They're sticking together now. They're making oh. these fights. At the very least, they're just going to trade one for one. Tox is not close enough as well. He's, there's oh, no, no support whatsoever. Silence up and Claws, they're going around as a partnership in unison. There's going to be Silence up on quad. Th He's I mean, this is free. This is going to be a guarantee. This has to be a win from here. Three more frags. They've got access to quad. They're going to get two more. I mean, that's one more frag. This wow. has to be game over, Zoo. Surely, surely. He's going to kill himself and give it over the quad. Guaranteed to Claws. They need that one extra kill, but that's one way to just secure it anyway. He's found one. Machine gun damage is going to be it. The crazy clowns are going to take the semis. And again, it's that next level of optimization, right? Where, yeah, one of us has the quad, but if we have frags to work with and you've got 150 HP, 
Let's lose one frag now so you can get two later. Look at Tox's score though. He's struggled a little bit there. 14 for 27. Claws are just popping off. Anyway, there seemed to be some desynchronization going between Zeron and Tox there. They weren't really supporting each other that well during the fight. Silencep and Claws always seem to have each other's backs. They're always communicating, right? Your stack, are you going to prioritize this item or am I going to prioritize it? And, and they just were always getting these favorable fights. And I think at the very last minute as well, when they made uh, basically the decision, I know you'd, you'd mentioned in the past where um, they have a very supportive play style of each other without having to essentially be holding hands, right? You know, mm. sometimes people try and stick together by basically kind of just going to the same place together, forcing 2v1s yeah. in every scenario. Yeah. And we've been seeing, you know, them split up a little bit quite regularly well, throughout these maps. I think that was a bit more traditional. Well, some of it was more traditional. You could see them moving around by from Mega towards Power Up together, and then know, forcing themselves I, to I these think angles. It was the last minute when they realized they had a significant lead they were almost exclusively seen side by side. Yeah. Because in these situations where if we have a massive lead and the worst we're going to do now is go, well, you're going to die in this fight regardless, even if you take out one of us, it's going to be a 1-1 one -one trade <laughs> unless you guys controls. stick together. Yeah, I mean, dude, this was basically just one non-stop highlight reel for some of these frags that we saw. Um, and I think it goes to show that even though Crazy